Greetings, welcome to another video. It's Sunday, 26th of January 2019, and today we're at Apley Woods. Now, previously, a few months ago, I have done another video about um, Apley Woods, and I was on my bicycle at the time, we had to cycle around, and a couple of days ago, I shared it to a few places on Facebook and well yesterday when I was in Maidley making the video I've already put up onto YouTube I figured today we'll do another video on Apple Woods um, only this time try and keep it a bit more concise and yeah a bit well a new video updated video anyway so here we are uh, one of the entrances to Apple Woods Back that way takes you toward Lee Gomery and Lee Gomery Spa, a local convenience shop around here. But we're not going to go that way. That way takes you around the edge of Appleywood and toward Princess Royal Hospital. But we're not going to go that way. Instead, we're just going to go through. And here we are, we have a map of the Apple Wood. This map and guide are designed to help you find your way around Apple Woods, giving an idea of some of the area's historic features, points of interest and suggested walk routes. With its 56 acres of meadows, pools, trees and winding footpaths, Apple Castle and its woods are a fine example of a 19th century landscaped woodland. Records mention woodland on this site as far back as 1300. However, the present woods were largely created during the last 200 years as part of the ornamental gardens to the Georgian Manor House, built in 1792 and demolished in 1955. The woodland's historical interest and rich diversity make it extremely valuable. Many of the species of wildlife to be found in Apple Woods especially some of the birds and bats are of ecological importance. And so here's a map with some more information and small and a list of the points of interest. Like the uh, Apple Castle, energy horizon and sculpture, site of a Georgian manor house and woodland art trail. And you've got some information at the bottom here about some of the wildlife. Let's explore. Got a potential footpath going round the edge there. Yes, uh When I was last here a few months ago making another video, it was the height of summer. And it was ever so beautiful, really nice weather that day. But it's really different nowadays because it's January, still winter. And as you can probably gather, there's a bit of a strong wind going on. In my previous video, we went that way. But this time, let's go this way. Yeah, 
When I was a kid, coming through Apple Woods, I'd always love walking down this path. It was amazing. Especially like autumn, winter time, if I haven't put any snow on the ground. And if uh, when going around Happy Woods, I'll sometimes see uh, bird boxes or bat boxes. A really good spot for watching out for wildlife going on, as you can imagine. Oh. Looks so different to uh, when I was here before. Let's head on over there. Now here's an interesting thing I've just noticed. That bird box up there. Well, I think it's a bird box, yeah. I don't know what species of bird would use that kind of design for the nest, but it's still an interesting feature nonetheless. And this tree is still a magnificent tree, just beautiful tree this one. So yeah. And along the way, throughout Apple Woods, watch out for sculptures like this made out of Wood and tree stumps. <sighs> Plenty of these lying around Appy Wood, and they're amazing to just take the moment to appreciate and enjoy. <sighs> this is the local duck pond, obviously. So it gives you advice as to what best to feed with ducks if you so wish to do so. I remember when I first tried duck for dinner, very nice, very tasty, delicious. Uh. I always enjoy coming to Apple Woods. Should probably do it more often. So yeah. So now we're just gonna head over that way. So we've just arrived at this little crossroads here. That path there takes you out of Apple Wood and past the hospital but we're not going to go that way this way and that way takes you back into Applewood itself and that way takes you takes you back to where a minute ago but we're not going to go that way but we are going to just take a moment to appreciate how beautiful this view is it is a gorgeous little path, so yeah. What we're going to focus on instead is right here. Some local information. Dear reader, 
over the past few days I've been clearing out the attic. It's amazing what finds its way up there. My latest discovery was a pile of dusty old leather bound books. One of these books tells the story of the Apley estate, a tale of civil war, family tragedy, tragedies and splendid lifestyles. For hundreds of years, Apley estate was home to one of the most famous families in Shropshire, the Charltons. The first house of the estate was owned by Alan de Charlton in 1327. He received permission from the king to embattle and fortify his house. In the late 1500s, the house was dismantled and a second house was built. During the Civil War, the new house was to be the scene of divided family loyalties and violent clashes between royalists and parliamentarians. Many who died were buried nearby. By the late 1700s, the Charlton home was in a state of disrepair. By 1791, plans were signed for a new Georgian-style house to be built on the estate. The previous house was converted into stables and outhouses. The remains of these buildings can still be seen today. The last house was demolished in 1956, ending a splendid era and the reign of a Charlton family on the Apple estate. So yes. And uh, a map of the area. So we just uh, move along this way. And we're just going to have a walk along here. Because there's a feature down here I want to talk about. And here we are. Now this stone sculpture always fascinated me when I was a kid. When we'd uh, visit Happy Woods with a family and for something to do and all. I never knew what this sculpture is all about. At least here anyway, there was never a sign explaining it. But at the start of this video we saw a sign giving information about Happy Woods. And it does feature some information about this sculpture and its meaning. But this has been here for years. For as far as I can remember. And I always loved it. It always fascinated me. To me it was always one of the more intriguing and interesting features about Apple Woods. And potentially mysterious as well, so Well Let's return to the path. So we're just coming up here for a moment. It is a bit of a cold day today. So we're just going to head over there for a moment. So over there is where we started our video. And you can see another wood carving sculpture here. Uh, a couple of badges by the looks of it. 
I love wool. I would. <laughs> I do enjoy stuff like that. Really do appreciate the artwork and effort got into making them. I just want to show, bring you to this. Hiding over trees. The owls are watching. Don't think we'll see any owls today or at this moment in time. But whenever you do come to Apley Woods, the bird life is always a fascinating thing to keep an eye out for. We're just going to come to that sign over there. This sign here gives you more information about Apley, the Apley Estate and a particular story that happened here. Unfortunately the signs is getting really faded and difficult to read so uh, I'm not going to try and read it right now because of that. So I think so, uh, this, shot, this sign does need to be updated and renewed. But yeah, it's more local interest, more local history going on. If I draw your attention to here, there's a couple more footpaths to explore nature trails. But we're not going to go that way today. Instead, we're going to focus on what's in front of us. And we're going to head over there. This here was another favourite feature of mine as a kid. Ever such a beautiful little spot. We've just come down the steps. And as you can see, we've got four stone chairs. And they've been here for years. As, uh, been, they've been here for as long as I've ever been visiting Apple Woods. I should have picked another day to make this video, but at the same time, it's a nice contrast between my previous video and now. Let's uh, turn around. That way is more of a, more nature trails. That way it takes you to a local lake where it's a popular spot for fishing, but we're not going to go that way either. Instead we're going to go back this way. seen some owls after all today. <sighs> I'm 
some more local history, uh, more local information. And that sculpture we saw earlier on, Energy of Rising Sculpture. Located in the heart of a woodland is a very unusual carved stone sculpture called Energy Rising. It is believed to symbolise lava emerging from the earth. Look out for the stone carved armchairs near where the Georgian Manor house once stood. Uh, yeah. Absolutely beautiful. So this is where we were a few minutes ago, the duck pond that way, the stone sculptures that way. And the way out that way. In fact there might be something interesting along this way, let's have a look. And here's what I was thinking about. Another beautiful wooden sculpture. And by looks of it also doubles up as a bench as well. Beautiful. So let's head up this way. So that was Appy Wood. There are various other paths and trails to explore within there, which, if you ever get the chance to do so, dear viewer, I highly suggest you come down here and take the time to explore as much as you desire to do so. This path here, if you stick to it long enough, will eventually take you back to where we started this video and onwards to Ligonry as well. This way will eventually bring you out to a couple of paths and routes that will firstly take you to Dot Hill, Admaston and Wellington, depending on which route you end up taking. But we're just going to walk up here for a moment, because there's uh, something else I want to mention. Just here, as you can see, is a entrance access point to the Princess Royal Hospital. Um, obviously I've got a lot of support for and respect for the Princess Royal. Um, it's an important place. But if it ever happens that for whatever reason you're a patient here or you're visiting a patient here and 
you're well enough to come out for some fresh air or an access or just to train well for whatever reason you want to, a break from the ward if you're able to do so a visit to Apple Wood for a few minutes might help but of course it all depends on if the doctor or the nurse allows such a thing to happen but anyway I don't know I don't know I'm going to end this video here thank you for watching I do appreciate you watching the video and taking the time to do things and support this channel and everything so thank you so take care of yourselves be safe I'll see you next time in the next video. Until then, goodbye.